Okay, this is lesson 200 in the Course in Miracles workbook for students. Title, There is no peace except the peace of God. Seek you no further. You will not find peace except the peace of God. Accept this fact and save yourself the agony of yet more bitter disappointments, bleak despair, and sense of icy hopelessness and doubt. Seek you no further. There is nothing else for you to find except the peace of God, unless you seek the misery, unless you seek for misery and pain. This is the final point to which each one must come at last, to lay aside all hope of finding happiness where there is none, of being saved by what can only hurt, of making peace of chaos, joy of pain, and heaven out of hell. Attempt no more to win through losing, nor to die to live. You cannot be, but be asked for defeat. Yet you can ask as easily for love, for happiness, and for eternal life and peace that has no ending. Ask for this, and you can only win. To ask for what you have already must succeed. To ask that what is false be true can only fail. Forgive yourself for, for vain imaginings and seek no longer what you cannot find. For what could be more foolish than to seek and seek again for hell when you have but to look with open eyes to find that heaven lies before you through a door that opens easily to welcome you. Come home. You have not found your happiness in foreign places and in alien forms that have no meaning to you, though you sought to make them meaningful. This world is not where you belong. You are a stranger here, but it is given you to find the means whereby the world no longer seems to be a prison house or jail for anyone. Freedom is given you where you be held but chains and iron doors. But you must change your mind about the purpose of the world if you would find escape. You will be bound till all the world is seen by you as blessed, blessed, and every one made free of your mistakes and honored as he is. You made him not, no more yourself. And as you free the one, the other is accepted as he is. What does forgiveness do? In truth, it has no function and does nothing. For it is unknown in heaven. It is only hell where it is needed and where it must serve a mighty function. Is not the escape of God's beloved son from evil dreams that he imagines, yet believes are true, a worthy purpose? Who could hope for more? Well, there appears to be a choice to make between success and failure, love and fear. There is no peace except the peace of God because he has one son who cannot make a world in opposition to God's will and to his own, which is the same as his. What could he hope to find in such a world? It cannot have reality. It cannot have reality because it never was created. Is it here that he would seek for peace? Or must he see that, as he looks on it, the world can but deceive? Yet can he learn to look on it another way and find the peace of God? Peace is the bridge that everyone will cross to leave this world behind. But peace begins within the world perceived as different and leading from this fresh perception to the gate of heaven and the way beyond. Peace is the answer to conflicting goals, to senseless journeys, frantic, vain pursuits, and meaningless endeavors. Now the way is easy. Sloping gently toward the bridge where freedom lies within the peace of God. Let us not lose our way again today. We go to heaven and the path is straight. Only if we attempt to wander can there be delay. 
and needless wasted time on thorny byways. God alone is sure, and he will guide our footsteps. He will not desert his son in need, nor let him stray forever from his home. The father calls, the son will hear, and that is all there is to what appears to be a world apart from God, where bodies have reality. Hmm. Now is their silence. Seek no further. You have come to where the road is carpeted with leaves of false desires, fallen from the trees of hopelessness you sought before. Now are they underfoot. And you look up and on toward heaven with the body's eyes, but serving for an instant longer now. Peace is already recognized at last, and you can feel its soft embrace surround your heart and mind with comfort and with love. Today we seek no idols. Peace cannot be found in them. The peace of God is ours, and only this will we accept and want. Peace be to us today, for we have found a simple, happy way to leave the world of ambiguity and to replace our shifting goals and solitary dreams with single purpose and companionship. For peace is union, if it be of God. We seek no further. We are close to home and draw still nearer every time we say, there is no peace except the peace of God. And I am glad and thankful it is so. Okay, this is the accompaniment uh, by penned by Tina Louise Spalding, and it is um, Commentary from Jesus, A Year of Forgiveness is the title of this book. And this is Jesus' commentary on Lesson 200, titled, There is no peace except the peace of God. He says, You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know as Jesus. Have you not noticed that the older you get, the more tired you get, and the less interested in the world you become? Those energetic years of youth soon pass away as you trudge through your 20s with broken hearts and broken bank accounts. You head into your 30s convinced that the next phase of your program will make you happy. The house, children, family, mortgage, debt, and 40-hour work week. All these things build up into what you would consider a midlife crisis, but it's what we on this side consider a great burst for freedom. Many of you come to see these teachings in your 40s and 50s or even later because you have tried all of the roads. You have tried everything you were taught would make you happy, and not one of those things has indeed made you happy. You still wonder what is missing because it is not held in the world. It is your home, love, and connection to the divine that is missing. That love is irreplaceable by any material good, human body, or form. This makes many of you sad to think nothing in this world holds your happiness for long. It is true. It is a sad place. You can see that written on the faces of many people walking the streets. But there are glad tidings. You have been given the means to return, return home. You have been given the information you need to practice to make this journey on earth a lot better and eventually take you back to that place from which you came, which is the all-encompassing loving arms of God. I am that one you know as Jesus, and we will speak to you tomorrow. And that was the commentary by Jesus for Lesson 200. In peace and love, may you be blessed.